My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review of Eight Legged Freaks and this review will have some spoilers so if you haven't seen it go and watch it then come back and watch my review because I will be going in depth. For the months of October I'm going to try to talk about some random horror movies because horror is my favorite genre so I'm going to go ahead and talk about Eight Legged Freaks which is a movie I've always wanted to watch. Ever since I was a kid and I saw the DVD cover in the video store I just wanted to watch this movie and it, I'm surprised it took me up until now to finally watch it. Arachnophobia is a very underrated horror movie and after watching this movie I think this is another good spider horror movie. It's a very specific subgenre that we don't get much in. I think this movie is just some big old goofy horror fun. I do think it had potential to be more than that. And it kind of bums me out not to see that potential fully realized. But for what it is, I did enjoy it. But the opening to this movie, like the first act, I thought was legitimately really creepy and quite frankly kind of terrifying. Like it really got under my skin to see all these different kinds of spiders breaking out and just racking havoc on this town. Like when it's small and there's these big old spiders hiding in the walls, like... It, it, it creeped me out and then the kid goes back to the store and just it's covered in webs and there's all these creepy crawlers just everywhere. I was just like, oh, this may actually be a really scary horror movie. But then we get to a scene where a spider beats up a cat in some drywall and I'm just like, okay, this that, that was a really goofy scene, okay. And then later there's this guy who gets chased by a spider on his bike and he ends up kicking a spider mid-air and as soon as that happens I'm just like okay so this is not going to be a creepy horror movie throughout. No it's a big old goofy dumb movie that didn't make me laugh. I did have a smile on my face for the majority of the movie but I do wish they played out the horror angle a bit more. And I'm kind of curious if they were planning to make it a big old dumb goofy movie or if they thought of it afterwards. Because when the spiders are first introduced, they're just spiders. But then for the second half of this movie, they add the most hilarious and cheesy sound effects to the spiders. That I'm just like, did they try to change the tone of this movie in post-production? And they're just like, oh, guys, it might be a bit too goofy to be a serious horror movie. What if we use some of the sound effects to make it goofy in post-production? And I'm not sure if that is what was done, it probably wasn't, but that's the way it seemed like to me. But I did like the sound effects they gave the spiders, the yippee and the wee. it's just, it's so dumb. It's not for everyone, but I enjoyed it. Um, the cast does a fine enough job. You got David Arquette, who I do like in the Scream movies, but I also think he needs someone like Courtney Cox and Neve, Nev Campbell to bounce off of, and he doesn't quite get that here. He's still fine, but it's not his best performance. Then you've got Kelly Wawuria, who I definitely mispronounced her last name. I haven't seen her in anything else, at least I don't think I have. Um, she's not good in the movie, but I do think it was good casting because her daughter is played by Scarlett Johansson, and they looked like Muzzle Dotto. Like, it kind of surprised me just how much they looked alike. So that was spot on casting. I just wish the performances were a bit better. The son, Mike, is played by Scott Tira. And I thought he was really bad in the movie, to be honest. Like, I don't like to be mean to kid actors, but yes, he was very bad. And then you've got the performance of Doug E. Doug, who did know what kind of movie he was in. And I did like him in this movie. The story itself is Fine, like it's about these spiders that become super huge. But my issue with that is that the very first scene in the movie establishes that there's some container of toxic waste that goes into the water stream, and then these spiders break out from the spider farm and then they just end up getting bigger. But even before the real plot kicks in, the guy who has the spider farm. He's just talking about how they're growing in size, how they're growing twice in size. And, you know, you don't see the spiders go into the barrel of toxic waste to get bigger. And I just wish they established the connection between the toxic waste and the spiders getting bigger. Because 
I don't know, like, I know it's obvious that we know that's how they got bigger, but it just seems weird that we didn't see them finding it or something along those lines. It was a very odd decision that didn't work for me. Uh, the foreshadowing in this movie is super obvious. Like, the very first scene at the spider farm tells you everything you need to know about these spiders for later on, and it's very obvious. And even some stuff involving the mine and the shopping mall, very obviously foreshadowed. And it kind of bugged me how the one kid, the son, he goes into the spider farm and it's quite clear that his friend is dead and that the spiders broke out and there's webs everywhere. And he just has no reaction whatsoever. He isn't worried about his friend. He's just not reacting at all. And then later, David Arquette character drives him home. And now he's like, oh my goodness, this is happening, this is happening, we're all screwed. But you don't get that sense from him when he actually discovers what's going on. And then the whole storyline of David Arquette playing this character who left his hometown like a decade ago and now he's back and he wants to reconnect with the woman he loved. On paper, I should have loved this storyline as it's something so simple for this kind of movie. But the actual execution of it, I found to be really bad. I didn't find these two to have any sort of chemistry. I didn't care about these characters at all. And I just didn't gravitate towards that plot line even remotely. So I thought that was really disappointing. And okay, and now we're going to a bit more nitpicky territory. But there's this one kid who's on a bike riding away from the spiders in the mines. And then it cuts to like 10 hours later and he's still in the mines on his bike riding away from the spiders. And it's just like, how long is he in this mine? Uh, the main character, he's looking for his aunt and there's all these dead bodies wrapped up in webbing, which is actually really creepy. But of course his aunt was the one person that wasn't killed, which is very contrived, but whatever. And the CGI, this movie did come out in 2002 and it looks fine enough, but it's certainly not great CGI. But that said, that doesn't bother me as much because this is a big, dumb, goofy movie and it complements that style quite nicely. My only other complaint is that there's this giant tarantula that you see throughout the entire movie. And I just would have liked some sort of actual f scene where they kill that tarantula. Like, I feel like they were building that tarantula up more than the main spider itself. And we get, and I don't know, I just, I would have liked someone to try to take out that tarantula. I think that could have been a really great scene. But overall, I do enjoy this movie. I do wish it was a legitimately scary horror movie because that was set up to so well in the first act. But for being a dumb, goofy B movie, you can have lots of fun with it. There's plenty of issues to be had and I'm sure the movie's fully aware of them and it just doesn't care because it just wants to have fun. The cast looks like they're having a fun time and I'm sure the screenwriters and even the people who added the weird sound effects afterwards were just laughing at what they were making afterwards. So it's a movie with plenty of issues. It's not as good as it could have been, but for what it is, I had fun with it. So I'm going to go ahead and give Eight Legged Freaks a 6 out of 10. Okay, have you seen Eight Legged Freaks? Let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned for some more videos soon and Gavin out.